Is this the best Echo yet? It has a good size screen. It's a great price. It has stereo speakers. Let's take a look. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love playing with new tech and seeing what it can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. This is week 49 of my 2019 Echo series. Last year, Amazon brought out the Echo Show second generation. It was a huge improvement with a larger screen, great sound, and a better looking design. In May, Amazon followed up with a smaller and significantly cheaper version with the Echo Show 5. It makes a great bedside or desktop Echo Show. The Echo Show 5 has been my favorite Echo and best valued Echo with a screen at $89.99. But it sounds just okay, and five inches is a bit small. The Echo Show 8 falls in the middle with size and has improved sound over the Show 5. Could this be the best Echo yet? Is the screen big enough? Does it sound good enough? Let's look at it next to the other Echo Shows. The Echo Show 8 was announced at $129.99. The larger Echo Show second generation is $229.99. And the Echo Show 5 is $89.99. That is $100 less for two inches smaller and $40 more than this for an extra three inches. At the time of recording this, the Echo Show 8 is on sale for $79.99 in the US. The eight inch screen is HD with 1280 by 800 resolution. That is the same as the Echo Show 10. It is also an improvement over the non-HD Echo Show 5 with its 960 by 480 resolution. For the sound, you have stereo sound with two 10 watt two inch speakers. That is close to the size of the two 2.2 inch speakers of the Echo Show second generation. The Echo Show second generation does have a passive bass radiator for deeper bass. The Echo Show 5 has a single 1.65 inch speaker in it, which is about the same size as the Echo Dot third generation. I'll do some sound comparisons in a few minutes so that you get a better idea of how this device stacks up to the other ones. Now for the camera, it has the same low one megapixel camera that the Echo Show 5 has. You do have the camera shutter right here for some additional privacy, which is nice because you can keep that closed all the time until you need it. I do feel better having a physical shutter right there little orange indicator to let you know, especially in light of finding out that Amazon had contractors listening to some recordings. It makes you wonder, is there a chance that eventually the cameras will be activated? This one doesn't have a physical shutter on it. On top, you have the microphones, volume up, volume down, and the mute slash camera off button. There are a couple things that are missing that the larger Echo second generation has. First, this has a built-in Zigbee hub. This one does not. Personally, I'd rather buy a third-party hub if I need one. I did not like the limited functionality, the Zigbee hub that's built into the Echo Show second generation. Next, this does not have Dolby Digital Audio Processing. I know, that is probably a deal breaker, not having Dolby Audio out of these little speakers. Other than those things which aren't deal breakers in my eyes, you're getting the same functionality as other Echo devices. Since this is an Echo and has so it is going to do everything you can expect from other Echoes. I'm not gonna go into too many features. I'll cover some of the basics. If you'd like to learn more of what you can do with your Echoes, please check out my 10 everyday uses for Alexa and Echoes with the link in the description. Let's talk some features for She will answer your request, set some timers and alarms, launch some skills, and just be there for you if you need someone to listen to you or tell you a joke. For content, you will get all of the same amazing music services that you can on other Echoes, such as Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, and others. For video, you can watch Prime Video, NBC, Hulu, and even YouTube with the web browser. I am using Hulu Live TV now, and it is great to just be able to ask 
to watch NBC on Hulu and it just brings up that channel or ABC on Hulu and it takes you right to that channel. And you can go through and browse whatever other items you watch on Hulu. For smart home control, you have all the same control over your smart devices. I really do love that with the Echo Shows you have the two-way communication with ring doorbells and ring cameras. You will also be able to call up other supported cameras like the Wise Cam, which is another one I am a big fan of, especially at its price point. You do have the swipe over option to access your devices and other functionality. I do think it's a little too clunky to navigate through it and a little slow. Um, I think this screen needs shortcuts as an option, Amazon. Maybe replace the things to try down there at the bottom that you won't let us turn off with some screen shortcuts so we could just access devices quickly. Just an idea. For communication on the Echo Show 8, you have all these same communication options as other Echoes, such as phone calls, sending messages, video calls to other Echoes, video calls to the app, Skype calls, and drop-in. That's a lot of communication options. Maybe too many if you don't want people to get a hold of you. Now, let's compare the sound to some other echoes. All the devices that I'm gonna compare this with are set at 50% with the default EQ settings. I am using the same mic that I record my videos with. Now, I have to say this for some of the people in the comments who are not so polite with some of these sound tests. If you're not one of those people, you can ignore this. First, this is not a scientific test. This is meant to give you a reference to the other echoes in the lineup. From there, you can decide how you feel about it. This is being recorded through a mic. Because of that, you may hear it differently than I do. Sound is subjective. Your opinion on sound may be different than mine for these reasons. It's okay to disagree, but you don't need to be rude in the comments. Now let's get started. You just like their attention. Before we continue, something to note when listening to the Echo Show 8 and second generation Echo Show is that the speakers are stereo and side firing speakers. So it's hard to capture that sound with my microphone. But from my end, the stereo sound and side positions do give a fuller sound to it, especially compared to this that really has the speaker kind of coming out the bottom and it's just not the same. You just like their attention. I like the sound of the Echo Show 8. I think it's a great improvement over the Echo Show 5. It sounds so much like the Echo Show second generation. You know, it doesn't have that bass radiator on the back, so the lower end is not there as much. In my opinion, it definitely does not sound as good as the Echo Show second generation, but it does sound nice. There is a nice balance with the Echo Show 8. For the screen, I think it looks good. It's not full HD or 4K, but what do you expect for $100? Let's not get greedy, people. Let's be thankful for our regular HD. Comparing this to the other Echoes in the lineup, I would say the Echo Show 8 is more of a smaller version of the Echo Show second generation than it is a bigger version of the Echo Show 5. It shares the same look as the Echo Show 5 and the same camera, but that's where the similarities stop for me. You have the same higher resolution screen as the Echo Show second generation. I think the screen size is a big improvement over the Echo Show 5. The sound on the Echo Show 8 is so close to that larger Echo second generation, just lacks the extra bass that this one brings you. Now, one of my biggest complaints is the little clock. 
The Echo Show 5 introduced a full screen clock. I was hoping for the same with the Echo Show 8, but no. We're back to the little clock in the corner. Please, Amazon, give us a full screen clock on the Echo Show second generation and this device. Sorry, I don't like the clock. This does it well, these two don't. The other things I don't like about the Echo Show 8 are the same things as any of the other Echo Shows. The screen is my biggest disappointment with Echo Shows. The screen is way underutilized in my opinion, especially compared to the Google Home Hub. Personally, I don't think the screen is great for interacting with the Echo. It's great for receiving information and responses and watching some media, but for the touch portion, it's just too clunky and slow using it with touch. That's really my biggest complaint about this device. Amazon really needs to do an overhaul of the whole Echo screen interface. So back to the original question, is this device the best Echo? It reminds me of Goldilocks and the Three Little Bears. The Echo Show second generation may be too big. The Echo Show 5 is too small. The Echo Show 8 is just right. I do think this is the best Echo yet. You get nice sound with a good size screen and all the functionality of an Echo at a great price. This is my new favorite Echo for features to dollars spent. What are your thoughts on the Echo Show 8? Let us know in the comment section. Make sure to check out this video over here to learn about 10 things you can use your Echo for. This video has been updated for 2019. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one.